What's up everyone, Lex DeVille here, and in this video we are going to be talking about how to price yourself on Upwork. And we're going to be basing that on different points in your Upwork journey. So as a freelancer, where you're at, where you're starting from, what you've earned, things like that. Uh, in our recent video, and I will link this up above, I guess not our recent video, but our most recent tutorial series, we've been making some changes around the channel. In our recent tutorial series, we've been doing copywriting. So if you were looking for some copywriting training, just trying to get started, I've been putting out some different tutorials on copywriting the last few days, and I have a new one coming here shortly. And so check that out. You guys can get started on that if you need a high value skill. Before we go any further, make sure that you are subscribed and click that notification bell if you want my notifications. No one I put a put out things like new videos, uh, live streams like we did the other day where we reviewed Upwork profiles for free on live stream. That was pretty cool. And I appreciate everyone who showed up for that too. That was awesome. We had a fun time. So today we're talking about pricing and how you should price yourself. If you are a freelancer and you're trying to figure out uh, what is the right price for me, if I want to attract clients quickly or just maybe you're just not confident in your pricing where you should be. And this is something that I noticed from a lot of the profiles that I reviewed the other day was that some of you actually should be pricing quite a bit higher and others maybe should be pricing a little bit lower. So let's just dive into this. And I just made a few notes here for myself. So hopefully this will kind of give you an idea of where you should be. Let's say you are brand new to the platform. You've just got on Upwork, you're sending proposals out, you don't have any money earned, you don't have a job success score, that's a JSS, you don't have top rated status, and you're not really an expert. You just signed up and you're trying a new skill or you are a generalist, you have many different things that you do. You can maybe edit some videos or do a little bit of content writing, stuff like that. If that's you, if, if you are new to your skill, non-expert, all of those things, and don't have anything earned, no feedback on your profile. Where should you be? Around five to $10 an hour to get your foot in the door. And this is a lot of the people I teach need to be at, at these rates. Some people even need to be less than $5 an hour if Upwork still allows that. Five to $10 an hour is going to allow you to get a foot in the door. This is about making yourself attractive at these early stages when you don't really have maybe a lot of value to offer each individual client. And that's always the biggest challenge for freelancers is not having enough, not bringing enough value to the table for clients to care about you over somebody else. That's always the question we're trying to answer is why should this client care about me? Why should they choose me? Why should they hire me over some other freelancer who is potentially better than me? So starting out, five to ten dollars an hour if you are not an expert in your skill you're not niched down you don't have a lot of credibility you don't have anything earned now let's say you don't have anything earned but you're kind of more professional maybe you've been doing your skill for years in a job maybe you know how to talk about yourself maybe you've got some credibility you've got some degrees behind you that are relevant to the skill you offer maybe you're a little bit niched down in that case, you don't really need to start at five to ten dollars an hour. I think you can start a little bit higher at fifteen to twenty-five dollars an hour. If I were starting over on Upwork from scratch today, with my level of knowledge and skill in what I offer, which is copywriting, I would probably not start at five to ten dollars an hour. I would probably bump it up to fifteen to twenty-five and get my foot in the door that way because it looks more professional because I am a professional. And in my profile, I'm gonna talk about my credibility. I'm gonna talk about the things I've accomplished, even though those things weren't through Upwork necessarily, I can talk about them and then price myself a little bit higher. If you are a true professional, that's gonna shine through. So 15 to $25 an hour to start. And bear in mind, these are all flexible. You can test these as much as you want. You can try different rates, whatever you wanna do. It's always up to you. These are just some suggestions. Let's say you've been on Upwork a little bit, you've earned your first thousand dollars. Now maybe you have JSS, uh, it's 100% for now, you've got top rated status finally, and you've earned, you've got a thousand dollars showing on your profile. Where would you be at then? Well, I think it is reasonable for most people who are up over a thousand dollars, it's time to raise your rates up somewhere between $25 and $50 an hour. And uh, again, this all assumes that you're doing hourly work. I don't do hourly work, I do fixed price work. So this is just what's showing on your profile. It doesn't mean that you have to accept uh, jobs at this rate. It doesn't mean that you have to propose this rate whenever you're applying to gigs. This is just what to put in your profile so that when clients click it, they are uh, feeling attracted to you and feeling like what you offer and what your pricing is, is maybe, maybe makes sense for the amounts that you've earned and the feedback that you have and the reviews and credibility and all of that stuff. So $1,000, 
25 to $45 earned as long as your job success score is 100%. And as, it doesn't really matter if you have top rated at this point, whether you have top rated or not, I would still go with those prices. Top rated is more of just a bonus. Now let's move into $5,000. So you're over $1,000. I guess you could just say over $1,000, but under 5,000 or right at 5,000, I think that now you have enough feedback, you have enough reviews, you have JSS top rated, all the things backing you up. You've started to get quite a bit of credibility. You should have results from past clients that you can leverage for credibility. Now I think 50 to $75 an hour. And that is totally reasonable with $5,000 showing on your profile. I've seen people do it with less. So I don't think, I think if you're above 1,000, 1,000 to $5,000 showing on your profile, then you're ready for 50 to $75 an hour. Again, you can do fixed price, whatever, but that's just the hourly rate that I think makes sense to me. $5,000 or more. Once you get up over 5,000, this is kind of where things cut off. You've got 100% JSS top rated. You're an expert. You've got lots of credibility, lots of reviews, all of the things. Now we're looking at 75 to $100 or more per hour. And there are some factors that will, uh, that I think will affect all of these rates. And I'll talk about those here in just a minute. But if you were at $5,000 or more showing on your profile, that's how much you've earned through Upwork then whether or not you are a super credible expert in some like really specific skill or you are a little bit more generalized, I think you can still bill 75 to $100 an hour or more, or at least those are the rates that you can display and still attract clients. Let's talk about some factors real quick that can affect this. So first I wanna talk about things that will maybe, maybe situations where you would increase a little bit over what I've said here. So the first one is if you are a freelancer from the United States, that is an automatic increase your prices by 15 to $25 per hour over what you were thinking. So if you were thinking about starting at $5 an hour, maybe bump it up to $15 to $25 an hour. And I say that because Upwork promotes US freelancers more heavily. They give favor to US freelancers. It's just a benefit to be from the United States in Upwork's eyes. So increase automatically uh, if you have an in-demand skill and let's say maybe that is something like coding nfts right now if you can create nfts for clients or smart contracts or some other really in-demand skill or difficult skill technical skill 15 to 25 dollars an hour go ahead and automatically increase your pricing by that much so don't start at five dollars an hour if you're at the bottom uh, start at 15 to 25 if you have a technical skill and if you're good at it and that goes for these other rates too let's say you're at 75 to 100 dollars an hour you, you've got five thousand dollars earned on your profile well if you priced yourself at 100 dollars an hour go ahead and bump that up to 125 dollars an hour if you want to because you can build that with that in-demand skill that is a difficult technical skill uh, niche focus let's say you are focused on a specific niche of people so you maybe you are writing white papers for the nft space since we're talking about nfts it's easy for me to think about that uh, if you are a white paper copywriter for example focused just on nft white papers that would be an automatic 10 to 15 dollar an hour increase uh, in my eyes so if you were starting at five dollars an hour in the beginning boost it up to ten dollars an hour or fifteen dollars an hour you automatically get that just by niching down in your profile so all of your profile needs to highlight you as a specialist in this one specific skill that's what i mean by niching down your title should be like nft white paper copywriter and that's the only thing you don't have like you don't have copywriter content writer web designer in your title you don't have three or four different things in your title so 10 to 15. Last thing I want to mention that's an automatic increase is if you have strong credibility, if you're bringing strong credibility, we already talked about this a little bit earlier, but if you have a lot of strong credibility that is relevant to your skill, your specific skill set, then that can be a boost. And if it's really strong credibility, it can boost you up by 50 to $75 an hour or more. So this could be things like huge, massive results and great testimonials. If you built a website for a company and that caused that company to immediately make a million dollar sale and then they gave you feedback and said hey your website it led us to a million dollar sale that's a huge huge piece of credibility so even if you're starting at five dollars an hour you need to boost yourself up to 50 to 75 dollars an hour because you have big big credibility powerful credibility and it's showing you that you are an expert uh, this could also be you could 
use relevant degrees if you have enough fancy degrees if they're at the master's level maybe doctorate level things like that will automatically put you up there at the 50 to 75 dollar an hour range especially if you were maybe a lawyer in the legal field that's one where that specialized degrees the, the things that you go through the certifications passing the bar exam all of that means you instantly bill 50 to 75 dollars an hour or more you could do more if depending on how much credibility you have let's talk about a few things that will decrease what you can bill first thing that's going to I guess our, gosh, I don't really have any of these. I only have one main thing that's gonna automatically be something that decreases what you bill. Uh, JSS that is below 100. So if your JS, your job success score is below 100%, then you need to decrease your rates by 10 to $15 an hour. And this doesn't really apply to new people because if you just joined the platform, you don't have a JSS yet. So you can't go from $5 an hour to negative $10 an hour. But if you've been on the platform long enough to maybe have a thousand dollars build on your profile and you're at 25 to 45 dollars an hour now if you drop below 100 i would recommend dropping your price by 10 to 15 dollars an hour if your job success score drops below 90 so if you're down in the 80s or below if you're down in the 80s i think that you need to decrease by 25 to 35 dollars an hour and if you drop below 80%, you're basically not getting hired from anything. You're not getting promoted by Upwork. You're not getting invitations. You're not getting responses to your proposals. So now you need to drop, if you're below 80% JSS, you need to drop as far back as you can, $5 an hour, $10 an hour, just whatever you can do to attract clients quickly and get them to take a chance on you, roll the dice on you, and then over deliver for them so you can get back to back good feedback and raise that job success score back up. So those are my thoughts on just pricing in general let me know your thoughts in a comment down below do you think i'm wrong do you think there's different pricing thresholds like what do you think makes a difference these are just things in my eyes that make a difference and from my perspective i could be totally wrong maybe you guys have had a different experience there is no perfect right answer but i just wanted to give you basically from a client's perspective what i would be looking at in terms of rates and also from a freelance side of things as well if you liked anything in this video, go ahead and like the video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, notify, no, turn on notifications, all that stuff, because we'll be talking about good stuff like this from time to time, and hopefully it will help you out. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lex DeBille. I'll see you next time.